Hi, I'm Emily and I'm a student at North Carolina State University in the College of Natural Resources and I'm working with Bald Head Island Conservancy to bring you this video on a fun activity that I love which is planting indoor plants. Today we're going to be talking about the benefits of indoor plants, we're going to talk about what we need to pot our indoor plants and also I'm going to be potting this plant right along with us. So what do you think are some of the benefits of indoor plants? There's a ton of benefits. Some of the top reasons people keep indoor plants is because they're fun. You can get a lot of different varieties of plants and a different varieties of pots as well that you can decorate and get really creative with. Plants also help clean the air we breathe and purify it. And planting is a really fun activity. A lot of people just love to have plants and keep them around their house as decoration and to purify the air. This goes for outdoor plants as well. Outdoor plants will really liven up your yard. They purify the air and they're a great source for pollinators like birds, bees, and butterflies. So to get started, there's gonna be a couple things that we'll need. First, we're gonna need a pot. Any type of pot will do. I got this one from a local home improvement store, but you can also use things around the house like this yogurt container I've used um, to plant this aloe plant, or people use tin cans or plastic bottles. Anything that's really a container will work. The main thing when you're choosing a pot is you wanna focus on drainage. When you water the plant, you don't want the water to sit at the bottom. You want it to be able to drain out. So a lot of ways people will get good drainage for their plants is one, either poking holes in the bottom or holes will come in the bottom of pots that you buy but for this yogurt container i've poked holes in the bottom here to help with drainage if you choose to do that make sure you get an adult to help you another way that we can get good drainage for our plants if you don't have holes in the bottom like this pot doesn't have holes is to put rocks in the bottom which is what i've done here i've got rocks in the bottom and that's going to help for the water not to sit at the bottom and cause root rot Second, we're gonna need water. I've got my watering can here. You're gonna need soil. I've got indoor potting mix. Any type of potting soil will work and you can also get that at the home improvement store anywhere with a gardening center. And lastly, you're gonna need your plant. Now right here, I've got um, a spider plant that I'm gonna be planting today. Um, some great indoor plants that people love to grow and are pretty easy to grow are pothoses, spider plants like I've got here, snake plants, Christmas cactuses, or any type of cactus or succulent is really easy to grow, like this aloe plant as well. All right, so now I've got my pot, my soil, my water, and most importantly, I've got my plant and I can start planting. So first things first, I have my rocks in the bottom here to help with drainage. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pour this potting soil in. I'm gonna fill a container up about three quarters of the way. You want it pretty full for your plant. So I've got my container about three fourths of the way full. And that looks pretty good. Now with my trowel, I'm just gonna pat down the soil a little bit, make sure it's still full enough. And my next step is gonna be to use my fingers and basically just make a little hole with my fingers. Now the hole needs to be wide enough and deep enough so that my plant and its roots will sit comfortably in it. I want my plant to have enough room to grow and I want the roots to be fully covered by the soil. So that's how deep I'm gonna make my hole with my fingers. So I've got my hole pretty deep here and it looks like my plant is sitting comfortably in it and the roots are deep enough. I'm gonna cover up the roots with my soil and you can just use your hands for this. You don't need anything but your hands. And I'm going to add a little bit of soil just to make sure everything's covered.
There we go. That looks great. My roots are covered, my plant is firmly in there, and I've pressed the soil down around my plant so that it's got a good base and it's not gonna flop all over the place. So that looks pretty good to me. The next step is we're just gonna water it a little bit. This is gonna help the plant get started growing and it's again gonna make the soil pretty firm so that the plant is pretty stuck in there. One thing to remember when we're keeping our plants and keeping potted plants inside is that they require care just like us. They need food and water. And plants, food and water is sunlight and obviously water. So when you buy a plant from the store or you can look it up online if you know what species of plant you have, it'll say on the tag or online how much water it likes and how much sunlight it typically likes and other conditions that it might grow well in. So for my spider plant, I'm gonna keep it in direct sunlight a good amount of the time. And I'm also gonna water it only about once or twice a week. I don't want it too wet. I want it to have just enough water, but I don't want it to be soaked all the time. So I've got my potted plant and it looks great. Now that I've got my plant potted, I'm ready to place it inside and watch it grow. I'll have to take care of it, but it's pretty easy and I can't wait to see how much it grows. My spider plant's been eaten a little bit by my cat, so hopefully repotting it and putting it in a new place will help it grow and not be eaten. Like I said, there's a lot of different plants you can get and a lot of different pots you can get. You can get super creative with it and make a super colorful and vibrant garden for yourself. Outdoors, there's plants everywhere. On Bald Head Island, the best places to go see natural wildlife are the salt marshes, sand dunes, or maritime forests. You can find them all over the island and you'll see many different types of plants and wildlife around. Like I said, gardening and potting plants is one of my favorite activities. It's super fun, it boosts your mood and decreases stress, and it's, only a, it's a, just a simple four-step activity. I can't wait to see what you've potted and feel free to tag at BHI Conservancy on Instagram or Facebook and show us what you've potted and all your different types of plants. Thanks so much.